Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's going to be time for some Victoria 2 with the Constant of Europe mod as the Ottoman Empire. So I don't like to save scum, guys, but I, I just, I don't know what the fuck just happened there, dude. But for some reason, we had like a huge loan. We took debt. I don't even know what exactly occurred. I don't know if it was a bug or something, but we're back now. We're back. We basically haven't missed much since, since the previous episode. I want to just... I want to figure out what the fuck happened. I don't actually even know. We're taxing the shit out of our population, but spending is is definitely positive. Our income is not, you know, we're not negative. We don't have any interest really. Debt is is really not that much. One hundred fifty thousand ducats, or one hundred fifty thousand pounds in, in Victoria Two is not a lot to pay back. So we're gonna finance this here in just a minute. Honestly, I don't know what happened. I don't know if we had an event. I I wanted to go check the video, but something weird definitely had occurred. But we're back now. We're back to uh, to where we were before. So we, we're we're just about to finish up researching medicine, and we're still encouraging clergy in most of our most of our land. And the empire is secure still. The empire is, is nice and secure. So I don't know. I don't know what happened. We're gonna declare war on the Russians, or hopefully we'll go to war with the Russians sometime in the near future. Um, let's get some industrial tech. I want to find out when that truce ends with the Russians, actually. When is that truce up? 1861. So we have about four years until we can... Until we can, um, fight the Russians again. I'm, I'm almost sure... We just got the Imperius Autocrat again. I'm almost sure that they're going to declare war on me again to reclaim even more of their territory. And I'm just going to keep, continue to just take things from them. <laughs> they're allied with Finland and the Netherlands. So, although I'm... I will admit I'm a little worried about... We have a threshing accident. I'm a little worried about Austria. Seek local support for reform. Sure. Let's go ahead and repay this loan. Let's do 50% taxes on the middle class for a little while. Who's suffering? Somebody has who's red. Artisans. Artisans are not producing things anymore. Hmm. Let's go for early railroad. There's a little bit of money here. Let's actually go to, to 60. Because that war exhaustion, let's see. Let's actually figure out what war exhaustion does. So, War Exhaustion gives us Organization Regain Rate, Tax Efficiency, Factory Throughput, RGO Throughput, Prestige, and Cassis Billy Acquisition Speed. So, it's pretty bad. Romanian Pan-Nationalists. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Um, there's some Rebels here, some Jacobins. Curious. I will admit, the Russians are actually fairly isolated diplomatically. They actually don't have a lot of friends. They're trying to improve relations with the UK and France. They actually don't hate Austria anymore. They did before. Hmm. So that's a little worrying. I want to be able to rely on Austria, but, you know, you never know. We still, I mean, we've been able to take territory from, from the Russians. You know, I'm still kind of surprised about that. I do want more territory, though. I want to release Azerbaijan and that I'd love to have Crimea, or at least the states of Kuban and Tarita. Yeah, so we're going to have to definitely work on our military tech. He's only 10 out of 30. I'm 11 out of 30. Um... Assimilation must continue. Yeah. So I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's check this out. Um, I did find... we. we I think we need a little more cav. Actually, that's that's what I realized in, in that previous war. Is that we need more cav. So we're going to send up some cavalry this way. I will admit more artillery and engineers probably wouldn't hurt either. Guards are nice. Guards are good at attacking, but not so good on defense. Whereas regular infantry are actually pretty even on attack and defense. Guards have 8 attack, 4 defense, and 1 reconnaissance. But guards can only be of your primary culture, which is Turkish. And Turkish is only 31.1% of our population. So. We can build pharmaceutical plants now. How many capitalists do we have? We have uh, about 5,000 capitalists. That's good. Who's the most educated pops? In our country, let's check it out here. Communism agenda? Communist agenda? Ooh. Literacy. Our most literate population is actually Bulgarian farmers. At 44%. It's pretty bad, actually. Uh, let's go for Donna. Let's see. How many clergy do we have? 3.3%. Let's actually start encouraging. We're going to start to encourage soldiers now. Um, I believe soldiers is capped out at 5% of every state population. So... Literally, when this number is like 4 or 5%, like, that's as many soldiers as we can have in the Empire. Um, but we need more soldiers if we're going to win these wars. We need more men. We need way more men. 
These early railroads are going to be fucking awesome because of the mobilization size. Clean coal, mechanical production, practical steam engines are also really going to help us out. We need to go for some of this army tech here, though. We're going to go for all this industry. I might come for some of this. The collectivist theory would be nice. We've got minimum uh, life rating from the prolaxis against malaria. Still can't colonize anything yet because the life rating is not low enough. But we need soldiers bad, badly. Uh, encouraging soldiers is gonna be is gonna be really good. We want regulars mostly. Regulars, cuirassiers, and then artillery. Um, regular artillery, the attack one point seven five. Mobile artillery are nice too. There's there's nothing wrong with mobile artillery. Let's see early railroad. Let's go for clean coal. Zaidi. Social responsibility or profits? Men's stockpile changed by 200. All capitalists receive 200 pounds or militancy. We have a little bit of militancy. Let's try and get rid of it, I guess. Let's do, let's do 50% taxes. If I can. Let's see. Baha'i's followers in Acre. Acre. See some literacy or religious insurrection. Huh? Assimilation rate, immigrant push. Interesting. Let's actually go ahead and check out immigration. I do want to check that out. Uh, where the, where the hell is it? Immigration. Migrations. There it is. So we have some people leaving to the United States. The United States is receiving a thousand people. Mobilization size. There we go. Railroad max level. We got the Rio Grand Republic here. Oh, whoa. Dude. Holy shit. America's actually pushed into northern Mexico. They took Sonora. A Chihuahua. Damn. Yeah, so the Rio Grande River is not, not the border. And then actually the Rio Grande River... Or the Rio Grande is protected by the UK and the Netherlands. So Mexico's been basically dismembered here in the New World. Holy shit. Empire of Brazil is still very, very strong. Okay, so let's go and build our railroads. We've got plenty of money to do so. I know I can just wait for the capitalists to do it, but I might as well just do it myself. Because it's of the utmost importance. Having railroads will make or break me. I'm actually curious how industrialized the Russians are. Yeah, having railroads is pretty damn important. Mobilization size is also pretty important, too. The more railroads you get, the larger and faster um, you can mobilize as far as your conscript groups are. Or your conscript groups. Let's see. Here, we're going to buy up all this. I'm actually kind of happy we haven't had many revolts here in, uh, in Greece. Or we haven't really had revolts anywhere. I'll admit. That's it. Excellent. I can invest in Egypt too, but for now, we're not going to worry about it. Let's actually go ahead and check it out. We have Antioch, Istanbul, Trabzon, and Duris. I'm actually going to go ahead and get rid of this rally point in Antioch. Um, Istanbul, Trabzon, and Duris. Here, this is Duris in Albania. We're actually going to get rid of that one, too. You know what I think we will do? Is there a supply limit modifier? There is. I think Odessa. Odessa is going to be one. Odessa is right on the frontier with the Russians. A lot of Ukrainians live here. Romanians. Yeah. There's Romania, Transylvania. Excellent. Authoritarianism. Authoritarianism is a view that authority is the most important value which give balance and stability to it. It is often combined with traditionalism to give an epistemological foundation for who should wield this authority. Cool. Egypt's got some um, some rebels. Probably Sudanese. No, Egyptian reactionaries, actually, because they're trying to westernize. Very interesting. Let's see. Can I build steamers yet? Who has steamers? Who's, con who's producing steamers? Sardinia, Piedmont, the UK, the United States. I can't produce steamers. It won't let me. I have to get some more, more tech, I believe. Oh, shit. The Russians are remobilizing. Yeah, we got two years. We have three years until this truce is up, so hopefully we can get some more army tech before then. 
Uh, point defense system, iron breach loaded artillery, all of that will be absolutely necessary. He actually hasn't fortified most of this terrain over here in the in the Caucasus. Finland's still a puppet, but now he's just allied with the Netherlands. That's it. Hmm. Yunnan's declared independence, so the, the Qing Empire. It's going to go over there and try and change all that. We're getting a lot of troops. We're getting, uh, like, Albanian troops, Kurdish troops. We get a SARS. Karasiers have to be your culture. So do Dragoons, technically. Karasiers are best for attacking, but Dragoons give you reconnaissance. Let's see. People want new laws. They want protected, protected minority rights? Sure. That's fine. The better I integrate my minorities in my empire, the better. Let's actually go ahead and pull back from the frontier. Um, I'm going to keep a lot of troops in Nikolev because there's that 42 second Crimea. I'd love to invade that. Okay. Let's get like three Hussars. Do we have enough artillery around the place? Possibly. I'll go for some more, but I, I, you know, I think we probably could use some more artillery. It's probably not a bad idea. We got more reactionaries. We lost a lot of conservatives. But we get a lot of reactionaries in the upper house. So that's good. Uh, let's actually go and check out the upper house here. It's uh, liberal, a little bit of anarcho liberals, uh, reactionaries, and conservatives. Okay. A little bit of socialist. Socialist parties are illegal in our authoritarian government. Let's see, an old tired soldier. With life expectancies in the Ottoman Empire decidedly on the increase, the unfortunate interaction between a relatively low wage and equally low pensions means that very few people can afford to make preparations for an old age. Oh yeah, I'll go ahead and grant out trinket pensions. Algeria. It's now friendly. Ammunition stockpile production shortfalls, huh? Cover their losses. 100,000 pounds. Holy shit. Incredible. Let's see. Who's not getting their needs? Artisans. Uh, who's getting luxury needs? Some artisans and some clergy. We're actually paying those guys pretty good. So uh, it might be this 10% tariffs that's hurting us. Um, but I mean, even though I should get rid of the tariff, it brings in a lot of money. It brings in like 632 ducats or pounds per month and or I guess even per day possibly. And even then, like, dude, it's only 10%. Like, that's not incredibly high. You know, it's really not too bad. And then, um, do we have any crime? Wow, look at that. Holy shit, the core parts of the empire are actually very much secure. Some of these colonial states could be better. Um, these are colonial states. I could make them into, into better states if there are more Turkish bureaucrats. But, alright. Literacy's going up. It's gonna take a little bit, but it's getting there. Empiricism is unlocked in 1860. When's this tech done? 1859. Okay, so empiricism is going to be research points by quite a bit. I'm going to go ahead and go for empiricism. We're going to take that, and then we're going to go for this collectivist theory for more research points, and then I'm going to work on some of these army techs. We need to get to like 15 or above. 15 army techs or above, because I know the Russians are going to be mobilizing again pretty soon. They're going to be remilitarized. Let's see. War of British control of Trinidad, War of the King, Canton, Concession, and then Argentinian liberation of Bolivian Jujuy. Okay. And then while that's happening, we're going to just keep training up troops wherever I can. Let's go and find out where are my soldiers. Uh, we can mobilize eight regiments, which is 24,000 men. Once these railroads and stuff are built, mobilization and such will be even easier. We're going to go and send some military relief to some people who need it. We produce a lot of coal and grain. That's pretty damn good. Coal, grain, wool, timber, and fruit. Um, as our population becomes more and more literate, we're going to be producing more industrial goods, which is nice. 
How much are you spending on subsidies? Not much. Actually, most people... Most of our factories are actually profitable. Although we will prop them up as necessary. So we're going to save some points and go for this empiricism. And go for another whistle stop tour. Sure. Hopefully my ruler doesn't get assassinated though. Yeah, we're going to save some points. I believe you can save up, up to one year of research actually. And you could, you could put that... Put that research, put those points towards something else. Ooh, we can build steamer shipyards now. Excellent. Steamer shipyards. We need steel and machine parts. Ooh, that's right. We should build machine factories or machine part factories. I need steamer shipyards. Steamer shipyards for the rest of the game are going to be like incredibly useful. We're just going to build some like everywhere. Even if they're not necessarily profitable, like, we need to have them. Let's see, what's our most popular state? Albania, and then Bulgaria. So Albania, you need to have, like, a steamer shipyard. There we go, we've actually spent all of our money. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Have we given any loans? Just to the Netherlands. Nice, man. Our empire is doing pretty good. I'll admit, we're doing pretty damn good. Pop consciousness. We're buying up all the tools we need for our steamer shipyards. I'd love to build a Suez one of these days. 30 days to build a uh, to build a factory. That's that's pretty quick. I I that's probably one of the only things that's not historical about this game. Is like, dude, you can't build a factory <laughs> in like 30 days. Oh my god, look at this. Uh the world's fair. Should we make a bid to host? Sure. We're going to go into a little bit of debt, because we don't have all that yet, but that's fine. Um, we're going to build machine part factories, too, once I have some cash. It's 1860. Let's go for this empiricism. It's going to be done when? In 1861? Nice. We saved quite a bit of research, actually, so that's good. It's going to be done pretty quick. I need this. Cotton production, fabric, cotton throughput. World's Fair venue. We've been selected to host the World's Fair. Yes! 11 prestige. Excellente. Fucking beautiful. 1861, May 29th. Nice, dude. Egypt, you got more reactionaries. Damn it, Egypt, stop having political problems. I don't want to have to go in there and save your ass. We have the fleet. We have a lack of maintenance goods, I believe. Death of the Sultan, huh? There's, there's uh, some sort of like civil war or something going on in Oman. Something about the Sultan or something? Okay, so we want to build we want to build machine parts factories everywhere. As much as I can build. Pretty expensive, but they're well worth it. Machine parts factories. Holy shit. Yeah, these are pretty expensive. Machine parts factories. Eastern Thrace. We'll do do I have a steel factory by any chance? Yeah, machine parts. Let's go to Gallipoli. Western Thrace, machine parts. Uh, let's see, we're running out of money. Polygoros, you want a machine parts factory? You're damn right you do. Oh, shit. Planning the World's Fair, huh? We must prepare for the coming World's Fair? I don't have any debt. Uh, I can't really afford to, I can't really afford to spend 300,000 pounds right now. We're going to have to probably just keep it kind of modest. I wish I would have known that maybe a little earlier. Yemen. There's a lot of war going on right now, damn. Alright. Let's be ready for a conflict in about a year. We're gonna be going to war again. Uh, how's your military tech? 11 out of 30 still. Construction halts on the World's Fair. Unvotable material shortages have held up to construction. Oh, shit. Alright. We're 18,000 in debt. Let's pay that back. At least our National Bank. That's nice that our National Bank is able to give us some loans. That's nice. Lucky. Let's check out our armies. Make sure everybody's ready to go for conflict. That is not inevitable. Or, that is inevitable. 
I'm not really sure exactly how to dismember the Russians. Definitely fortifying, taking the Crimea. The Crimea, possibly the Donbass region. The Don, Kuban, and then all of uh, Caucasia. Releasing this to Azerbaijan. That will be enough to, to put the Russians, like, to not oppose us ever again. If I release per or Prussia from... Or if I release Poland from them as well. That will be enough to guarantee us at least some safety for a while. I need some military tech. Yeah, I need this. I need this collectivist theory. This research points plus fifteen percent factory cost is gonna be nice too. I want that practical steam engine actually. That was in eighteen twenty one. We can research that really quickly. And then we need these military techs here. Even like one military tech ahead of the Russians would be like possibly substantial. Could be huge. Yeah, why are you not my sphere already? You're still my satellite. We might be seeing some independence wars here. Who knows? Okay, we can produce quite a bit of troops, actually. We got a lot of troops coming in from Albania. Uh, let's do more inventory. How do we do some mobile artillery? We got some more Hussars going. Davia. Damn revolutionaries. Can I form Romania? Curry Romania. Uh, all core provinces must be... Yeah, must be in a sphere. So I have to own Transylvania. And Banat, probably. Twenty-five percent literacy. It's gone up quite a bit over the course of the campaign. How are we doing on our railroads? Is railroads building? They are. Let's see. Debtors' prisons, huh? Interesting. The aristocrats don't like debtor, desert, debtors' prisons. Wow, we have a lot of religious insurrection. <laughs> Kaboom! A fire at an explosives warehouse has caused a massive blast that some say could be heard all the way to Istanbul. The devastation is massive. Oh my god. We make no distinctions of class. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, we gotta go beat these uh, these rebels here. When's this truce up? The truce is up. We should be expecting war with the Russians soon. It would not surprise me. The Austrians have about 111 regiments. What do I have? We've got 76. Although I could raise more. I have the manpower to raise quite a bit more now. And we, we are raising more troops, let's be honest. Um, what is nice is I, I think Russia's, I think Russia's, um, literacy is probably like a lot worse than mine. Literacy. Let's find Russia's literacy right now. Russia, the Russian Empire. Their literacy. Holy God, dude. The Russian Empire in literacy is at 12%. They have 79 factories, 269 provinces, and 70 million people. Whereas I have 26.8, uh, no, 28.61 million. The United States is at 52% literacy. The UK is at 60%. Switzerland's at 70%. Damn, that's pretty high. What about France? France is at 70% literacy. That's pretty damn good, man. Uh, they have 138 brigades. Leadership 39. That is awesome. So we're, we're coming back. We're actually, we have way more literacy than the, than the Russians. So they don't research things just as fast as we do. And their research, they have uh, the avant-garde intelligentsia, so they actually get a little bit of a boost in military reform, but culture tech is where they're strongest. Let's go for this collectivist theory. We just got those those research points. Those are going to kick in in a little bit. We're still getting the Tanzimate reforms as well. This is done in 1862. We just got anesthesia for pop growth. Excellent. There's my soldiers.
Okay. This collectivist theory will give us research points plus 15%. That's huge. And then we'll take some military tech. And then, well, maybe I'll, maybe I'll get this practical steam engine and then we'll get the military tech. This is practical steam engine, man. This needs to be done. It should have been done a while ago. This sanitation will help us out with our pop growth. We're getting 8,000 people a month. Or I think it's actually 8,000 people a day. Holy God. That's massive, dude. 8,000 people a day? That's crazy. That's super, super high. We do have religious unrest. However, I mean, everything is going pretty damn good right now. We've got full spending on damn near everything. We're not taxing the middle class. We have tons of soldiers coming in from Albania. I think the cap is 5%, if I remember correctly. Albania and Bulgaria. So Albania, Bulgaria. We're recruiting more troops from Istanbul, Bessarabia, Southern Serbia. We're going to bring in a lot of troops. Let's see. Colonial progress, huh? Sweet. Local colonial ventures are working out well. These damn Russians. 17.57 million people, apparently. They're at war with who? They're at war with Greater Yuz, Kokan, and the Sikhs. The 1861 World's Fair in Istanbul. The venue is complete. The World's Fair may begin. Sweet. War Russian control over Kokan. Hmm. Ah, we were outshone by the Austrians. Damn. These more guards, Turkish guards. Left click plus shift, huh? The young Ottomans. With the Ottoman government having indicated its willingness to provide reforms, an intellectual class known as the Young Ottomans has arisen. Men influenced by the ideals of the French Revolution who are advocating the assumption of secular rather than religious laws, as well as the provision of rights to ethnic minorities. This, they say, will help stem the tide of decay in the empire. Most recently, they have suggested embracing the empire's Bulgarian minorities, maintaining that such a gesture would indicate a willingness to embrace European v values. Mashriki citizens have gotten wind of this and demanding that they, as Muslims, should receive preferential treatment. Reactionary officials have agreed, suggesting a move towards accepting the Empire's roles in Islamic power rather than turn away from it. The young so the young Ottomans, I'm assuming, is a young Turks movement. Hmm. Okay. I have actually heard I've heard of this this move. So basically, moving towards the Bulgarians embraces like a, a European thinking. Whereas moving towards the Mashriki Arabs moves towards like a, a Middle Eastern thinking. Um so if we embrace the Bulgarians, Bulgarian becomes in a um, an accepted culture. However, I don't know if I want to do that because Bulgarian is only 7.8% of my population, whereas Turkish and Mashriki is, that's like what, 40, 44%. That'd make 44% of my population would be accepted. And honestly, I think that's what I want to do. Now, I know that means that we're kind of turning towards being a Middle Eastern power. Nationalist agitation for three years, huh? I'd rather go for the Mashrikis, I think. You know? Because they're just, they're larger. They, we have a larger Mashriki population. Imagine if we conquered Egypt. We'd have even more. Well, they're Misery, technically. That's true. We'd have even more um, Mashrikis here. We got some Assyrians, Kurdish, Armenians. I'm going to go ahead and embrace the Mashrikis. So they're accepted now. So we have a lot more accepted people, which is good. Uh, let's go and change from Southern Serbia. Let's go to cars. Well, you know what we could do? We can actually start integrating. We possibly could maybe start integrating some of these states if we start training up bureaucrats. Let's go to Southern Serbia. Yeah. Let's try to make it happen. Let's see if we can get this administrative efficiency in Aleppo up to 100%. Birth rate is explosive. Oh my god, 0 0.03 for our population growth. Holy crap. We're going to have so many people being born. Our, our, dude, our population is going to skyrocket. If we were up here with like Russian levels, like 17 million people, 18 million people, our, our population would, would outrank the rest of the world. I mean, we're going to be catching up to Austria here pretty soon. France as well. Spain, we have almost double Spain's adult male population. You know? 
And we still hold on to Egypt, which is good. Damn, man. This is what I'm talking about. Let's see. Turkish guards. Maybe more engineers would be good, too. Maybe more Turkish Turkish guards. Let's get some guards and I get some engineers. We'll see how that goes. Um, we'll put the guards over here in Romania. Russians are still busy, huh? We need this collectivist theory. We're going to get this practical steam engine and then we need to just focus on military for a while. Um, how's our... Lockia, you've got more revolutionaries. How is our steamer production? We produce 1.43 steamers a day. That is just awful. We're going to get 16 commerce raiders here, and then we're going to build 33 in Europe. And then we'll retire this wooden navy. Prices are going to skyrocket here, but that's all right. Uh, the Russians are moving troops into the Caucasus. They're at full maintenance, too. I just noticed that. I mean, I've been at full maintenance for quite a while. And I'm expecting an Austrian-Prussian Brothers War here soon for the unification of Germany. Prussia will most, almost decisively win. Dude, they're at 16 out of 35 military tech. Holy crap. The Austrians are actually at 12 out of 35. They're higher than me. That worries me. Hmm. These railroads are taking a while to build. But they're coming along nicely. Let's see. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and take a quick break here. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you guys very soon. Thanks so much.